good morning. I'm Natasha Curry in for Robin Mead. It's Tuesday. Here's what's going on. It is a tight race in Iowa. After months of debates and campaigning, the Republican presidential voting finally kicks off tonight in Iowa. A pep talk made Newt Gingrich change his tune about chances in Iowa. Yesterday, he told reporters the caucuses were his to lose, but hours later, Gingrich got a call from a precinct captain who told him to act like a winner. That helped give Gingrich a boost. Now, Rick Perry and Michelle Bachman may not be in the top three, but they're not backing down. Hear what they have to say about the other GOP candidates coming up in the next half hour. The man who spotted and pulled over the L.A. arson suspect turns out is a reserve sheriff's deputy making $1 a year. Packing on extra pounds may put you at risk for dementia. Researchers were surprised to find that a hormone produced by fat cells can increase your risk for losing brain function, especially in older women. But that same hormone can actually help lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. Experts say 36 million people are affected by dementia worldwide. Investigators have found the body of a suspect in the killing of a national park ranger. Barnes was also wanted in another shooting that left four people wounded near Seattle. The park is expected to be closed today while the investigation continues. Heads up, be really careful if you get an email telling you to click a button and download some airline tickets. Scammers are trying to get your personal information. Jennifer Westhoven's looking out for you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for talking. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, some strangers jumped into a freezing cold river to save three children after their car flipped and started sinking. The father of missing little girl Ayla Reynolds is telling the people who may be holding her, you have no right to do that. In his first TV interview, Dust Justin DePietro also told NBC why he waited so long to talk about his daughter's disappearance. My goodness, yeah, this, the roads was looking so bad in so many spots, Bob. And then we have the snow in Atlanta. What's going on? Yeah, I had a little is bit of snow on my deck. Yeah, when I woke up this morning, the snow has raced all the way down to northern Georgia. It's, I mean, it's extremely light. It's minutes. It's just, it's just wild how quickly it can get it's so cold Arctic so fast. Arctic glass, man. There's your outbreak. There yeah. It is. All right, Bob, you called it. Thanks. Yeah, you got it. Hey, staying in shape is going to get a little easier on the road. What one hotel is doing to help keep the pounds off of you right in your own room. Plus... A man was brought to tears when he stumbled upon a jacket that was stolen from his dad 50 years ago. Some shoppers showed up at his store half naked. It was all to get free clothes. Men are getting way more jobs than women in the economic recovery, and that includes retail jobs that traditionally have gone to more women. Jennifer Westhoven's here with more on that. Good morning. Hi, thanks. You know, men lost more. Thank you. Democrats are also caucusing today in Iowa. In fact, President Obama wants to use the state to his advantage. And a couple woke up to the sound of a truck coming through their bedroom. Oh, and 